Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season five, episode eight of She-Ra, Shot in the Dark. Yes. Uh, last episode, I was lulled into a false sense of security thinking it might have been a filler episode. <laughs> is this episode a filler episode? When they went to their uh, little like shindig underwater, turned out everybody was chipped and it got terrible, leading to Scorpia having to kind of sacrifice herself to leave herself behind. Mm -hmm. How do we feel going into this episode? Heartbroken over Scorpia. I'm really nervous. I feel like they can't do a whole lot until they're reunited with their whole group, but mm -hmm. they have to get through Horde Prime in order to do that, which is problematic. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried about them. Absolutely. But we'll have to see. But if you're excited for this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for she reactions every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait to watch several episodes ahead, these episodes are already posted to the Patreon linked in the description below in their extended uncut forms with like 10 minutes of extra footage. Um, so join now to see all of our she reactions and their extended uncut cut forms. All right. Are we excited for season five, episode eight of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power? Absolutely. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Okay. Anything yet? Dora, I'm trying, but no one's answering. Yeah, and they got that message from Perfuma, so it's not yeah. good. I think I found the blockade belt. Oh my goodness, That's forgot about that. Chips. Oh, really? Yeah. That? Oh no. If I could use magic, I'd teleport us past it. Never felt such a lack of magical energy in my life. Why does space hate me so much? <laughs> Our friends need us. We're going home. So your plan is to what? Ram through an armada of ships? No! Maybe. <laughs> They're waiting for us. They're going to catch us. And if they do, take it from someone who's defeated you guys a lot. Just <laughs> a plan won't work. Okay. I'm well, living for that's this. That's really funny. Adora, catch us oh. right. That felt weird to say. We barely made it out last time we tangled this prime. We I'm loving these new dynamics. Right? Help our friends. Catra, you were with him. Does he have any kind of weakness? What? You think he'd tell me? You are correct, <laughs> brother. Oh. We do not discuss Horde Prime's weakness. Weakness. Uh, oh. There is one. So that means Horde Prime does have a weakness. There's something to not talk about. Mm -hmm. No. Horde Prime is all powerful. You just said. Oh, boy. <laughs> We do not discuss Critus. What's Critus? Critus. Critus does not exist. We would not discuss it. Wait, oh, the chip is like reading it. It's a place. Hold on. A planet. Is it where the home base is of his empire? Because where did Hordak come lock. from? Where did Horde Prime come from? Darla, show us. I don't know. <laughs> According to Darla's records, it's located here, not too far from us. It is located nowhere. It does not exist. The Lord Prime destroyed it. I know what I saw. Prime's trying to hide something. It has to do with this planet. Oh boy. Maybe it's like where his Prime like rune stone is. Know. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't use magic, so it's odd, but I'm thinking I mean, his version of a rune Like stone. in the in the sense that it's like the center of his power and if yeah. that was destroyed, he wouldn't be as powerful or something like that. Cuz here's the thing with a hive mind, there's got to be like a communications hub. Mm -hmm. And if you can't access it, uh, the issue with being able to control an entire army at once is if you lose connection, every your whole army's done. Exactly. It, everybody just collapses. Yeah. Or maybe they all become wrong horde primes and they're all nice. We'll see. <laughs> that would be funny. But he has a weakness. All right. And technically, they're closer to this mystery planet than Prime is. All right. So, so maybe there's that's a chance. That's like one single good thing. Prime's trying to hide something and it has to do with this planet. I love her nails. There's something yeah. on so Prime much. doesn't want us to know about. We're going to find it. Set course for Kratos. Oh, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Can't wait to see the new intro again. Yeah. Enemies to friends, friends to lovers. Who there knows? You go. <gasps> oh my god! Wait, what? Did you see it? No. Look at the bottom. Oh. oh. So they have score. They have all of them. Wow. Oh my god. The way that they're gonna have Micah fight Glimmer, Scorpia fight Catra, like an evil Scorpia yeah. fight Catra, Mermista fight Perfuma, and mm -hmm. Spinarella fight Natasa, that's yeah. definitely happening. Mm -hmm. If you told me at the beginning of this show that there was gonna be a fight between Scorpia and Catra, and Catra yeah. would be on the good side, and I would be rooting for her, would not have believed you. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Crazy season. But new change to the intro, ready? I love that. Prime was definitely here. Something made him leave. Those are fun outfits. 
not the space Catra suit. Where would they get that? <laughs> Just had it around. Yeah. She's almost like Will from, uh... Oh. Puppy tail. <laughs> almost like Will from uh, Stranger Things, where she has that connection at the Upside Down. Oh, yeah. Still. I wonder if Prime is able to see stuff that's going on, like, with Catra because of that chip, you know, like, tracking it or something? Yeah. Because I feel like that would be a problem. I think the tracking was destroyed last episode, so I feel like it'd be more memory, if anything. Okay, gotcha. Could could be, who knows? This place should have some log of Maybe Ron Hordak can connect to it and tell us what happened here. Oh my god. <laughs> my readings show that the atmosphere is safe. Well, that was... All right. Quick assessment what? there. She's been wrong before. If my helmet were that adorable, I'd leave it on too. Oh, it is pretty cute. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cat having to deal with this stuff. Oh, this it's is so, so cute. cute. Oh. Yes. Whoa. Signature. Amazing. So okay. Alive on this planet. I'm wearing this. Impossible. Prime destroyed all life here that does not exist. He missed someone. Okay. Pulling out the spire schematics now. They'll guide you through from here. So, wait. The plan is to barge ahead into the structurally unsound building, find a mystery person that we know nothing about, in hopes that they know how to defeat Horde Prime. About yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Honestly, what did I expect? <laughs> we weren't just gonna blast our way through that blockade. You stopped us. This whole thing is basically your idea. It's kind of I love them getting mission. on to Catra. No, it's not. No, I'm going to kill your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So cute. Yeah, oh, so no. kind of in shambles here good. on Etheria. Shambles is a funny word. Mm. No. They're going to have Seahawk fight hit her, Mermista. That's going to be so That's sad. Heartbreaking. That's going to be so sad. Oh, no. Swift wind. Oh, well. No. Nope. I came as I heard. Oh, cast a spell out. Okay. Yay. What do you think you're doing? Smart. The ice prison. This can't be everyone who's left. We we need to find another place to make camp. They know we're here. They could be back at any time. We're going to hide just until we figure out what. Where's to Shadow do. Weaver? It's a good it question. Has that invisibility spell. That's not going to work. Here she is. Nice. Control. Mysticore is already compromised. Bold prediction. She's going to sacrifice herself. So many. By the end For of the real? Series. Yep. We're still stuck with you. All right. We're wasting time here. I don't buy it. It just makes sense with her arc. No. It, okay. Selfish her entire life, and then finally turns to the side of good. Doesn't really do that many big things for the side of good. Finally, like it's like I did care about you guys. I just sucked, and then sacrifice. I guess I could see it. She was just so awful in the beginning and it felt like it was so genuine and like true to who she is, but. Exactly. So maybe she, this is her big moment to be like, I can't change how awful I was, but I can do this. We need to get my brother back. I lost him once. I'm not going to lose him again. We need to get out of here. We need to make sure the rest of the rebellion is safe first. If you want to help Micah, come with me. You can't seriously, I would ever go anywhere with you. Don't have a plan. I do. Oh, what's her plan? But if you try anything, I strike you down. That's such a weird thing to say. Yeah. Like, I know it's like old timey or whatever, but like. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. Strike you down. <gasps> what is here? That looks like another cat. Was that? Don't tell me it's gonna be like Catra's family. No. What? You saw, okay. Tell me that this doesn't look like Catra's hair a little bit here. <sighs> That was Rich's okay, It looks hair. like any hair. Yeah, no, it was it's just, just hair. hair in general. Yeah. It's just we know nothing about her lineage at all. Yeah. That's weird. Cool. Maybe this planet chased off Horde Prime with poorly planned architecture. Why'd you stop? Go through the door right in front of you. Trapta, there's no door. Well, the schematics show a door right where you're standing. Data never lies. The logs say Horde oh, Prime retreated from this planet. Oh, wow. This cannot be. Okay. Lord Prime does not retreat. He is the almighty conqueror. His dominion is just and eternal. Data never lies. <laughs> so life's a lie. Whatever. We need a door? <laughs> wow. Okay. There's your door. You're welcome. Uh, you don't know what we shouldn't just smash stuff. Do you want to find whoever is Wait, here? Wait, is the door blushing? Let's just get this over with. There's your door. Wait, go You're back. Welcome. I'm back. 
Wow. Wait, okay, but I have to see if it if when when that happened. There's your door. You're welcome. Uh, oh my goodness. They're gonna end up together. To She's like, that was hot. Let's yep. We know Adora likes strong women. Mm-hmm. When she can cut through four inch metal walls. Yeah, that's in, that's wild. Um, what was that? Now this really looks like the upside down. Some sort of mineral growth. You have an arrow that turns into a magnifying glass? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe we were losing to you guys. <laughs> Glimmer, you okay? Uh, I... I don't know. Weird feeling about this place. Feels... strange. Entrapta, this What's floor going is on here? Weird Where vibes. Entrapta? Oh, sorry! Wrong Hordeth has begun to question the meaning of life! <laughs> but don't worry! I've got it totally under control! Me, sophomore year of college. <laughs> Any sign of those life readings? I'm picking up something on the next level! Upstairs. <laughs> oh, did you sneeze? He's Just blushing. So Cute. He thinks Catra's a cute cat. That's literally I what he's doing. I can't believe you were trying to kill us. You had the cutest sneeze. I am not cute. <laughs> the angrier you get, the cuter you are. <laughs> oh, well, ah! whoa. Catra, get me out of this thing. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh my God. Is this a magic okay, user? Head about this place is a bad feeling. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> Look at me like that. <laughs> you could slow down, you know. Where are we going? There's no time. You need to keep up. You said you had a plan. If anyone would know about mind control, it's you. <laughs> mind Fair. control? Is that what they told you? No. My gifts were always far subtler. I'm going back. <laughs> you never held a candle to Micah's power. Neither did I. We both know how dangerous he is now. We won't be able to stop him. He could do irreparable damage to others and to himself. So what is your plan? We make ourselves stronger. That is true. That's something I thought. Wow, that's interesting. Make them stronger. What but does that mean? <laughs> something I thought about is Micah like is extremely powerful, but doesn't quite use his power very much yeah. because he doesn't want to hurt people and mm -hmm. he's got a very calm demeanor. Yeah. A, like blood, blood lusted lust. yeah. uh mica is a terrifying thought. that's super scary or any of the princesses really yeah i kind of wonder about horde prime's controlling ability because some of the people he has chipped at this point have really incredible powers mm -hmm. but i feel like a lot of them take a lot of like skill and knowledge to know how to use i think so that's if a someone little different I, th really? I think they're gonna give him because like when he had mermista he was using all of her water powers like okay Okay, that makes sense. I think it's more of a, you're gonna do what I say rather than a, I am now in your body. Okay, gotcha, that I makes sense. I think he can jump into a body and we see that when the eyes turn green and he starts talking through right. them. But I think generally it's just like, you now work for me. Okay. But cool. we'll have to see. Gotcha. But they're gonna try to make themselves more powerful. What does that mean? What does that mean? We make ourselves stronger. Okay, perfect. I know exactly what that means. Shadowy was just like, power, power, power. What was that? Why did that wall try to eat me? Don't tell me she's going to the heart of Etheria. Isn't this where we started? Is that a living building? You guys hear that too, right? That sounds like a cat, though. Signature is just ahead of you. Go through the door on your left. That doesn't Wait, sound door? good. Oh, don't like that. We're not really going through that, are we? Entrapta says this is the way, so let's go. Seriously? How have you guys stayed alive this long? What was that? Oh. Wait, something's happening. It's like moving. Yeah. Guess what? This planet was once the first one's colony like Ethereum. Oh. Horde Prime and the first ones were fighting for control of this planet, and Horde Prime won. Something on the planet drove him away before he could conquer it, tried to erase all records of his failure. Horde Prime lied to us. He is not all powerful. Wow. We're on the right path. The growth of Ron yeah. Hordak. It's a big realization. The door still isn't getting any closer. Sorry, what door? The one you told us to go through. That wasn't me. This is the first time we've talked. It sounded to different. Entrapta sounded different. This place is weird and unnatural, and we need to get out of here. Before By the way, who's your new friend? What are you talking about? It's just the four or of us. Or something around them? Yeah. But there's a definite heat signature. Oh right no. You. Oh. Um. What is that? Oh. Um. Is this like a master Kendra, magic Kendra, user? Adora, I'm down here. It doesn't seem particularly evil. Oh. Well. well. Oh. Adora. 
Is this one person generating all this? Just, just nobody move. Glimmer, what are you doing? Hang on. Might be fake. Yeah. Oh, illusions. These are all illusions. It's magic. That means very cool. First one's Connie. Oh, she can use her magic. Oh, and just very nice. Nice. Wow. That, that was a pretty shot of Glimmer. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Don't tell me it's gonna think it's cute. Cat? So pretty. Oh. It is a cat. What is happening? Maybe it imitates things it sees. Oh my gosh. Are you very are you sweet? The thing that's been trying to kill us? I'm crying something, didn't you notice? It's just so cute. Not cute! Ah, get away from her! Is no, it commanding don't. what Catra does? Because it touched I'm she touched him? Something I'm working on. Oh, you are? Yes! Now can you please? <laughs> yes, I am. This thing responds to emotions, so can yeah. you not give me a hard time right now? Sorry, sorry, do do your thing. It's okay. Won't hurt you. It's very cute. Aww. Whoa. <laughs> oh. You're magic, aren't you? What is happening here? Me too. Oh, it's gonna. Oh. <laughs> this is so oh. cute. God. What's it doing? Is it tech? Hi, uh, guys. <laughs> Can you hear him talking too? Uh, it must have imprinted on you. Yeah. It wow. Trusts you. Well, it shouldn't. Why is everything with you guys so weird? <laughs> Does Catra have like a Seven's animal companion now? Milog. It's been here by itself for a long time. Oh. It thought we were enemies. Like the ones that came to take its magic? They dug into the ground, built machines. First ones. That's what they were doing. They were mining this planet's magic, just like on Etheria. Oh. Uh. But they took too much. And then the one who destroys came. Oh, Lord. Mm. He tried to conquer this place, but couldn't. The magic of Critus was too wild for Prime. He didn't understand what it was. Couldn't use it. Couldn't defend against it. Maybe that's why he's not going on to Horde Prime. Okay. But that's why he's not going onto the planet. Oh, that's him. smart. And now it's the last of its kind. Oh. I'm sorry for what happened. That's so sad. Yeah. We're gonna make sure it never happens again. Our planet has magic too. If you want to come with us, I think you'd really like it there. Or oh. Prime's gonna be terrified when he sees this <laughs> yeah. thing. And Trapta, we're on our Moolah? way back down. And cute we're name. A friend. That is cute. That's right. Wrong Hordax existential crisis has resolved. Lord Prime lied to us. He is a false ruler. We must rise up against him. Wow. Free the universe from his unjust reign. Let's go. Adora, Love that. Still don't know how we're gonna get back to it. Hmm. About that, I think I might have an idea. Can she teleport right. from here? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe Glimmer can use magic here. Yeah. I can't believe. Or we know that, but like use it to get you them back. You don't care about. I think God. they're gonna try to go All to the heart of the theory. All you ever cared about mm. is getting more power. Well, I'm putting a stop to this right now. Um, is that a warthog? Yeah. There's another one. What There's is a bunch happening? of them. was wrong. Etheria isn't a weapon. It's a living creature. And its magic has been here the whole time, waiting to be awakened. Prime has taken our strongest fighters. Does not yet know what this planet really is. We can destroy the restraints the first ones built. Set the magic of Etheria free and use it against him. You just want to take the magic for yourself. I want to save Micah. I owe him that much at least. Come with me. I don't know if I buy it. Help me right. undo what the first ones did and stop me if I try to take the power for myself. You better believe I will. Okay, so they're on a new mission. All right. Coming up on the blockade around the well, area. They'll have visual how are they... on us soon. Okay, so Katra said they had a plan. Mm -hmm. Only one way to find out. Ready? Illusion? Oh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna just make them invisible. No wow. way. That's Amazing. incredible. So it can take over tech. Just to make Pretty sure useful. I that is a lot of yeah, we're potential going to go uses. We're through a horde blockade while relying on the magic of a creature we just met? That about sums it up, yes. <laughs> Punch it, Darla! Oh yeah. Here we go, running straight through a blockade. Oh, that's so scary. Is there some kind of shield or something? No? All right. 
Oh, All they right. made it. Lovely. Very nice. That's gotta be a sight for sore eyes for Katra and Glimmer. Right. Ah! Mm -hmm. Worked. It worked. Ah! Mila did it! Yeah! Mila! Adorable. Ah! Save the day! Come here, best friend. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I love this. Yes. It makes you wonder what would have happened if Azula was given a chance. You're so right. We made it. Oh, it's going to go to hell. Everything's bad. Well, okay. We got a bit of a happy ending yeah. there. Nice. Nice. That's rare here. That is where we are left for this episode. So that was season five, episode eight of Shira and the Princesses of Power. What do you think? I am obsessed with seeing Katra kind of like integrate into the best friend squad. Yeah. And it's just, it's going so well. And I'm so happy for her. And they're so cute. Oh my gosh. So that's fantastic. Milog is a great addition. Oh to my the gosh. Team. I, okay. I kind of want to name a kitten Milong the next Milog? time I find a kitten. I think it's Milog. Milog? All right. I don't care. I Whatever don't... it is. I want to name a kitten Milog. Milog is when a I, very cute name. And I just find a, a random kitten? Yes. I'll just snatch just it snatch like magic. Yes, exactly. Well, that was a fantastic episode. Hopefully we have a little bit of a uh, solution to Horde Prime a little bit with Milog and just in general with magic and we know his weakness a little mm -hmm. bit now. So uh, we'll see how that goes moving forward, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode and are excited for our next episode and Ill Wind coming uh, next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait, I want to watch that episode along with these episodes, check out the Patreon link in the description below where they are all posted in their extended uncut ad free forms we have a lot to discuss but before we do that where are we headed all right let's go to the episode verdict Thank you for watching that episode. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions, check out the link in the description below and join at any level to start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one. Cece asks, Milog reacts to Katra's emotional outbursts and mirrors her. How do you think having this companion will help Katra with her trauma and how she expresses it? Like her emotional adjustments. Okay, I love this. And I have a little bit of a story that I think summarizes it. So two summers ago, Ago, summer of 2020, Kenny and I volunteered at an animal sanctuary and they had wolf dogs. And Kenny's a very like high energy person. Mm -hmm. um, and the wolf dogs can be kind of suspect of that. So when I encountered these dogs, they would be uh, stay a little bit further away from me because I just had a lot of energy. And it, it took several weeks of me going to work and working with these animals and keeping my distance and learning to sort of like take my energy down and be calmer in a, like a sort of more chill state. And right when I started figuring out my energy levels, they started coming more near me. I really wanted the dogs to be around me and they needed me to have less energy in order to do that. So I figured out a way to regulate my energy through that. And I took that into other scenarios. So I think that's just a fantastic way of being able to visualize and conceptualize your emotions and responses. Because when you were around the wolves, you needed to like slow your vibrations down mm -hmm. a little bit, which is something that you've been wanting to do for a really long time. Yeah. But being able to visually see the difference in a creature that you know is mirroring you. Yeah. That's super helpful. And then there's also a secondary aspect of it that's like a subconscious reward where you're naturally going to continue doing the behavior that got you something you wanted. So if you are able to Positive just kind of like lower your energy and then the dogs come hang out with you, that's like fantastic. And that just rewards yeah. that behavior. And how does and that just, relate to Ketra? I feel like that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. She has this, this new friend now that anytime her emotions jump and she, you know, reacts to something quickly, she can see it right in front of her yep. as something that is actually dangerous. And I guess being mindful of that reality and being able to see it physically in front of you is going to make it a lot easier to just constantly focus on that and work on that, which ultimately is going to make her a lot happier and kind of able to process regulate, yeah. and regulate everything that's going on. Absolutely. I totally agree. Uh, I can't wait to see more Milog moving forward. Yes. All right. All right, let's go to question two. All right, JHB asks, thoughts on the radicalization of Wrong Hordak once he finds out the truth? What might that bode for the other clones? See, that's the thing. When that happened, I was like, okay, if they're capable of achieving that level of thought, 
to realize that Horde Prime, in fact, isn't all powerful and isn't good and is oppressing people, mm -hmm. that means that that's got to come back. And I really think I imagine a scenario almost like Scar's death in The Lion King, where the whole team all of a sudden turns around and is like, don't really like you. Yeah. You've been draining our life force and killing us to stay mm -hmm. alive. And all you do is oppress people. So potentially, I foresee a situation where Entrapta figures out a way to do like an energy shock to destroy all like chips on people's heads. Mm -hmm. And maybe it also works for the Horde Prime uh, clones and yeah. they turn against them. Uh, what are your thoughts? I think it could be something along the lines of, so the thing that kind of prompted all of that realization was the like downloading of the new information that was like revealed, right? So the fact that they all have that like hidden somewhere within them mm -hmm. means that it's pretty widespread. I feel like we can say that all of the clones have like the same ability. So if it's possible for Ronghorn, it's possible for all of them. And I think because Horde Prime's control is so tech heavy, Entrapta is going to be really important in that because if she can figure out the way to switch one of them, yeah. she can switch all of them. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a either they're not able to do it at all, or they're able to do it for every single one, which I mean, like that's super high stakes, but it is nice to know that once you figure it out, you don't have to you know, fight like a bunch of different battles. It's just the one goal. Absolutely. And uh, so maybe the technological advancement will be their downfall. That would be exactly. wonderful. Yeah. Uh, let's go to our final question. All right. Mermaid Nebula asks, Throughout this episode, the best friend squad is seen teasing and laughing at Catra directly and generally shown enjoying her presence. Compare this to Catra confronting Lonnie when she thought people were laughing at her towards the end of season four, back when she was in command of the Horde. What are your thoughts on Catra's different reactions to people laughing at her skill set and command compared to people laughing at things that are just specifically herself? Do you think that these reactions are also very telling of Kato's comfort levels around Lani, Kyle, and Rogelio versus the best friend squad? Okay, so I do think it says a lot about her comfort levels with the two groups in particular, but I also really think that someone's ability to laugh at themselves shows a lot about the way that they think of themselves and value themselves. Because if you have a really low opinion of yourself and you're very self-conscious of any number of things about you, and someone makes fun of that it comes off as an attack and yeah. it's a threat because it's confirming something that you believe that's scary and a threat to your survival but if you are secure in who you are and comfortable and someone makes a little joke mm -hmm. it isn't really a big deal because yeah. it's not like shaking the way you perceive yourself you're not taking it to heart you're aware that it's a joke it's not something that's going to like completely shut you down the way it did with Lonnie yeah I think that the Lonnie reaction was less about Lonnie and more about Catra's inner 100%. turmoil. And now that she has less inner turmoil, it's, I mean, she still has some, but she's more leaning on support rather than leaning on nothing. Absolutely. Which will never help. Hopefully we could see more of her uh, journey moving forward. I hope she gets to reunite with Kyle Helio and yeah. Lonnie and maybe have a little apology moment there. We'll have to see, but I think that's about it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you've been enjoying the she Reaction series and are excited for the last five episodes of she and the Princesses of Power, which are going to be coming on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check out the Patreon link in the description below if you want to see these episodes, which are already posted in their extended uncut forms. And be on the lookout for our next episode in Ill Wind, Episode 9, coming next Tuesday. All right, I think that's about it. Are we excited for Episode 9 of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.